What you are looking at here is 50 billion points of laser scan data running on an ordinary laptop. If you are not familiar with the geospatial industry, you might not understand the significance of this. The geospatial industry uses laser scanners which make copies of the world out of little points, and the computer takes time to process each of these points. So the more points you have, the slower your computer will run. In early 2010, Euclidean appeared in most of the world's technology media because we made the claim that rather than run millions or billions of points, we could run an unlimited number of points on ordinary computers in software alone without even using the graphics card. To prove this large claim, we made an island that was one kilometer square out of point cloud data. The island had trees and rocks and many other objects that had all been scanned in from the real world. We made the island at a rate of 64 points per cubic millimeter. If you're not used to the metric system, that's 1 million points per cubic inch. If you still aren't sure how small that is, these are grains of dirt. In fact, the whole island consists of over 223 trillion points of point cloud data and is one of the largest models ever seen. This got a lot of attention and Euclidean was contacted by many people from the geospatial industry. The geospatial industry makes a lot of data and traditionally they ran this data using the point decimation technique. Point decimation is when you remove 99% of points while moving and when you stop, you put them all back again. This looks great if you stop, but if you want to explore your environment, it doesn't look very good at all. Other programs use the low resolution block technique. That's where you use only a tiny number of points, but you turn them into big low resolution blocks so that things don't look so see-through. Using these techniques, most programs can handle a few hundred million points, but if your model is much bigger than this, most systems will slow down, crash, or parts of the landscape will just simply disappear. Many different organizations asked us if we could use the technology that powered our Euclidean Island demonstration to build them a point cloud data engine for the geospatial industry. After a year's development, we have produced such a product, which we call Geoverse. It comes with some very powerful features that we think you'll find surprising, and we hope we can take a few minutes of your time to demonstrate them. But first, let's take a quick look at the state of the geospatial industry. Today's geospatial industry deals with two worlds. One is the real world in which we live, the other is the virtual world of computers and the internet. Between these worlds, there are bridges. The bridge from the real world to the virtual world consists of technologies like laser scanners or photogrammetry. The bridge from the virtual world back to the real world consists of 3D printers, molders, or simply constructing buildings from a plan. Over the coming years, we will even see these two worlds start to merge by the introduction of augmented reality. This cycle has been one of the major achievements of mankind over the last decade, but unfortunately it has a problem. With laser scanners bringing in over 1 million points every second, there is just too much data for the virtual world to handle. For example, Schlenker mapping mobile scanned in the longest highway in Queensland, Australia, it consisted of 1,700 kilometers of road with 19 towns along the way, and the whole model used up 3 trillion bytes of data. The best way to summarize the world's big data problem is like this. Computer power doubles in speed roughly every two years. Computer memory doesn't go up by a factor of two every two years, it goes up by a factor of 200. From megabytes to gigabytes is 1,000 times more from gigabytes to terabytes is another thousand times more. We only just get used to words like terabyte when we're told that new words like petabyte are on the way. So every year the world is producing hundreds of times more data than our computers are able to handle. And the worst offenders are those who use laser scanners in the geospatial industry. Geoverse is the world's most powerful tool for working with big 3D data sets. In the past, if you wanted to load 10 billion points of point cloud data into 60 gigabytes of RAM, you would have to wait up to 30 minutes. Eventually, some companies created better systems where the computer loads the parts of the model that are in view, which made the data easier to work with. Geoverse doesn't take 30 minutes to load, neither do you wait while it loads individual sections of your map. Instead, we grab the data from the desktop, 
put it into the window, done. 20 billion points in 0.8 seconds. To those of a technical background, you must be starting to think that all of this is impossible. So let me explain. Euclidean's unlimited detail technology is a three-dimensional search algorithm. Just as Google or Yahoo search for words on the internet, Euclidean's technology searches for points in point cloud data. It doesn't matter how big your model is, because the system only wants one point for every pixel on the screen. Normally the act of loading is when you transfer the data from your hard drive into your computer's RAM. The reason Euclidean's data is so quick to load is because we're actually running it straight from the hard drive instead of from the RAM. We sort through the hard drive, grab only the points we need, and then we temporarily send them to RAM and then straight to the screen. Most will tell you that this isn't possible because hard drives open a file, read the file, and then close the file. And this level of jumping around inside a hard drive just shouldn't be. But obviously we've found a way to index the data and access it even in a hard drive type state. To show just how fast this index search format is, here we've taken an ordinary $3 USB stick. That's a USB 2, not a modern USB 3. We all know USB sticks aren't very fast. If I take the data from the USB and try to copy it to the desktop, we're going to be waiting a very long time. Instead, I'll take the data and drag it into Euclidean's Geoverse program. Instant loading and we can fly around in real time with no streaming artifacts to be seen at all. For clients, this sort of plug and play use from external hard drives or USB sticks is a big advantage for them to consider using your services over the services of those who do not have such technology. To have all this power, you first need to convert your data into Euclidean's unlimited detail format. Think of laser scan data like a library where all the books are on the floor, but after conversion it's like a library where all the books are now on the shelves in alphabetical order so that the computer can quickly find the points it needs. If you have a mobile laser scanner, conversion is a terrible word because it normally means waiting days or weeks. Many of our customers don't have days or weeks to wait for their data, so we built a system that's so fast it converts around 3.5 billion points every hour. This only needs to be done once, and then your data is empowered to run infinite points with less than a second loading time. You might expect that a special indexed file format uses a lot more memory, but we're quite good at memory compaction here at Euclidean, so the data actually reduces to around 17% of the original size instead of getting bigger. The data's precision depends on what you set the conversion at. If you want a very accurate precision, then you can set it to the submillimeter level. If the detail level is set too high, points that occupy the same space will be removed as unwanted duplicates. After conversion, your data will run with Geoverse Viewer. For presentations, Geoverse is like a three-dimensional PowerPoint. It allows you to bookmark your data at different places and jump between them. You can add text or sound to the bookmarks, and because we have instant loading, you are even able to make bookmarks for instant jumping between entirely different models. For mining, construction, erosion or crop management, the power to jump between different models is very important for showing the differences that have taken place through time over multiple scans. In the past, the only way to make data look good was by making a video fly-through. But because of Geoverse's power, you can make multiple real-time fly-throughs and connect them to bookmarks for easy reference. Geoverse has a worldwide map panel that allows you to click on any real-world location and see the scans you've taken by connecting to Bing or other map services. Controls are so important for a user-friendly program. To my way of thinking, if a person can't immediately turn the program on and go where they want to go, then the program has failed their customers. So Geoverse simply uses the arrow keys to travel, or you can hold down the left mouse button to move and the right mouse button to go forward. On the other end of the scale, if you want your controls to be more sophisticated, then you can plug in an Xbox joypad and do all the stunts you want. Perhaps one of the easiest forms of control is to just simply click on the map panel and turn the camera. Geoverse has all the measuring and labeling features you'd expect, but we've also added hyperlinks that can connect to documents, videos, or even websites. 
This has been particularly requested by our customers who are interested in historical documentation through digitization. Because Geoverse is so fast, we are able to process two screens simultaneously and give you 3D anaglyph mode. You might think that red and blue glasses are a thing of the past, but they don't cost much to buy in bulk, and they work very well for presenting at conferences or rooms full of people. Most conference centers won't have a 3D projector because they can't give everyone a pair of $30 3D shutter glasses. Whilst watching this, you may have noticed that our 3D is a lot better than the 3D you're used to. That's because we have a new technology that constantly makes adjustments according to the screen's content to always give you the very best 3D possible. I have often seen organizations where after they have laser scanned, they upload that scan to hundreds of separate computers. If the scan is hundreds of gigabytes in size, this takes a long time and a lot of storage capacity. But Geoverse actually allows you to run your models straight from your organization's server without having a copy on each computer. Now your organization only needs to put their data in one place and all connected computers can access the model and run it in real time. Not only can your organization access your data internally, it can also do so externally. We have pushed our search algorithm technology even further and have made one of the first geospatial systems that actually serves geospatial data over the internet. A lot of people have been asking for this ability for quite some time. With Geoverse, your organization can allow anyone you want to log into your data and use it remotely from anywhere in the world. In the past, people had to spend hours or days downloading data sets before they could use them. And in the case of mobile scans of cities, it was just too much data to practically download at all. Now government organizations or businesses can simply email a link which the user pastes into Geoverse's URL box and up comes the model straight over the internet with zero download time. Some of our customers have asked will the internet streaming system work in areas with very poor internet? We have built the system so that if the internet is slow, the program will adjust the resolution while moving and then refine the resolution when you stop. The good part is that you will always be able to see your entire model. It won't ever freeze from lag and you won't ever cross a boundary and have to wait for a big block of the next section of data to download and appear. Euclidean is based in Brisbane, Australia. We are a team of computer scientists that systematically work through the world's hardest 3D graphics problems, solving them one by one. When you purchase from the Geoverse line, you become part of Euclidean's worldwide customer base. From here, our dedicated people will continue to work hard to solve the obstacles that you bring to our attention. For those who have specific needs or organizations that develop products of their own, Euclidean has a software development kit available for license that will empower your software with all the features shown in this presentation. We've all worked very hard and we hope the results of our efforts can be of service to you and your goals. Thank you for taking the time to see what we've been doing.